Today we will be installing Lava, which is basically chat GPT with vision. If you scroll down, there is a demo link. We can provide an input image or select one of these defaults. Let's try this one out. We ask it what is unusual about this image. It is able to tell there is a man standing on the back of a car and that that is not normal. I'm going to try my own image. I have a picture of Wemby. I'm going to ask it what the man is doing and click send. It is able to tell the man is sitting down holding a basketball. Great! You can use this demo for your own images and it works pretty fast. But just for fun, I am going to install this locally on Windows. I have created a fork of this repository, applied a change from one of the pending pull requests and modified the requirements file and documentation with the steps for Windows installation. Let's get started. First, clone the repository. Next, create the Conda environment and install the dependencies. Then install PyTorch. You can get the command from this link or copy it from here. Next, we need to downgrade this module because the current version was causing a weird infinite loading issue with the model dropdown in the UI. Then we will install bits and bytes for Windows so that we can use the quantized model. And we are done with the install. Next, we can download the model manually. From this link, go to this thing they call the Model Zoo. I'm going to be using the 7B model. Scroll down and click that one. Here, you can copy the model card here, which you can use as an input when running the app. But in case anyone has issue running that, you can download it manually using this method. First, create a folder called Models within the Lava Install folder. I'm just going to copy-paste this as the name of the new folder in File Explorer. Next, CD into the New Models folder from a prompt. I'm just going to use the Open Anaconda prompt for that. Then we must first run git lfs install to enable large file download. Then we simply git clone using the URL to the model. It will take a while. When finished, let's take a look at the contents of the models folder. We now have a folder for that model. And within that folder are all of the necessary files. We are ready to run the application. First, we need to launch three Anaconda prompts. One. Two. And three. In each one, we need to activate the Lava environment and CD into the Lava folder. While I do this, I'm going to say it three times fast. CD Lava Conda Activate Lava CD Lava Conda Activate Lava CD Lava Conda Activate Lava. I said all that while still on the first prompt. Two more to go. The way this app works is that one prompt will be controller, the second one will be a model worker, and the third one will be used for the Gradio web app. You could potentially have multiple model workers running if you want to compare between different models in the Gradio app. But for this example, I'm just going to have one model worker. We will use this command in the first prompt to launch the controller. In the log output, you will see error written for many lines. Ignore that. I believe they have some logging level issue. These are supposed to be informational and not error messages. Once that is running, let's run the next command. For this example, I'm going to use the manual model we downloaded using the 8-bit quantized version. This top command uses the model card to specify the model, which you can get from the Hugging Face page. I also specify the load 8-bit flag so that it uses the quantized model. I'm not going to use this command. I will use the second command which uses the manual model we downloaded earlier. Go to the second command. If you scroll all the way to the right, you can see the models folder and the subfolder with the model name. I'm going to copy-paste and run this command in the second anaconda prompt for our model worker. 
Ignore the error text. Once it says the Uvicorn is running, it is good. Uvicorn, I'm going to call it Unicorn. Yes, the Unicorn is running. Next, in the third Anaconda prompt, we will run this command to launch the Gradio app. Once it says it is running at this 0000, 000, 000, 000 address, we are good. Now we can open a browser and go to this URL. When it launches, you will see a Q message for the model drop-down. Let it finish loading the model. Now it is ready to be used. Let's scroll down and try out the built-in example first. I'm going to click on this and click Send. I have an RTX 3060 GPU with 12 GB dedicated RAM. This didn't take incredibly long, but definitely was not as fast as the demo page linked on GitHub. I think the first time it may be doing some processing, so it took a while to even start writing. Finally, it has started. It was able to identify the man standing behind the car. Since this is the 8-bit quantized model, it won't be as accurate as the other model or the 13B model for that matter, but it was still able to identify correctly for this particular example. Now let's try out the Wemby picture and ask it what the man is doing. Skipping ahead. Looks like that worked. Great. Well, there you have it. Now you can use this on your Windows machine if you want. I would still use the demo page if I want quick results, as it takes a while to launch this with three Anaconda prompts, and then the speed won't be as fast as the demo page. But it is still pretty cool to be able to run this locally and perhaps automate this in some way for something. That is all for today. Enjoy. Hashtag Go Spurs Go.